A still air box is an enclosed area that is protected from air flows from doors, windows, and other movements that disrupt the air. Its purpose is to limit contamination rates when growing mushrooms or experiments with algae or fungi. Their design is very basic and includes a clear square or rectangular box with two armholes. Along with limiting the airflow, it is easy to disinfect the area inside with an aerosol disinfectant. Reducing contamination risk is essential for growing mushrooms because fungal and bacterial spores and other contaminants can ruin mushroom cultures. Still air boxes are often used for inoculation of liquid cultures or agar propagation. They can be quite effective in lowering contamination rates, but the air inside won't be 100% sterile. This still air box is made from a large clear plastic container. I mark where I want my hands so they can comfortably fit inside and I will have a good range of motion. Two holes are made by heating up a coffee can and melting it into the plastic. Do this in a well-ventilated area with a mask so you are not breathing plastic fumes. You can also use a large drill or a jigsaw to make the holes. Sand the edges of the holes to make them smooth. This is a basic mycology still air box. You can tape a plastic sheet to the container so it covers the armholes, so when you remove your arms, the plastic sheet will cover the holes. You can turn this into a basic glove box by adding plastic flanges to the holes and securing gloves on the inside of the box. With the glove box, you will want to make an airtight seal for the lid so it does not create a vacuum where air gets sucked inside through the gaps. For success with a still air box, you will want to perform sterile technique. This includes wearing personal protective equipment, setting up a clear workspace, and maintaining sterility while working. Personal protective equipment such as a lab coat, gloves, and a mask can be used. Avoid touching your skin and hair or any unsterilized objects. Clean your workspace of any unnecessary materials. Decontaminate the bench with 70% isopropyl alcohol and allow it to evaporate. You do not want to use alcohol inside the still air box if you are flame sterilizing syringes because alcohol fumes are highly flammable. Clean and examine your materials for signs of contamination or microbial growth that looks out of place. To decontaminate the inside of the still air box, I'm using a 10% bleach solution that is inside of an alcohol bottle. Wait a few minutes after placing your materials in the box and closing the lid to let the air settle. Reach through the armholes and do your work. Try to only take your hands out when you are done so you do not push air currents into the box. Work quickly with uncovered containers like agar dishes so they are not exposed for extended periods of time. When flame sterilizing, hold the needle to the flame until the tip of it becomes glowing red. Cool the needle before inoculating with the syringe. Here's an example of expanding a liquid culture from a syringe into a jar using a still air box. A still air box is an effective, low-cost method for creating a semi-sterile environment for some of the processes when growing mushrooms.